Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of Soccer As We Like It, the Man United direction. As you know, there was no football this last weekend. But, but, Man United players represented the countries in various tournaments. Some were playing international friendlies, some were playing in the Nations League. And we're going to talk about the United players who went on duty. Bruno, Delo, Ronaldo, Ericsson, um, Martinez, Varane, um, Malaysia, that's the whole, Fred, Casimiro, uh, um, Anthony, Sancho was not called out by England, Rafford is injured, and uh, who, else? who else, who else, who else, who else, who else was there? And that's it, that's all I remember. Anyway, so let's talk about those who played for the countries. If you saw Ericsson, when Denmark played Croatia, he scored a 25-yard pile driver. I mean, that goal, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out on YouTube. It was fantastic. It was a beautiful goal from Ericsson. That kind of goal, I don't mind him scoring that on Sunday against Man City. That would be lovely, jubbly. Absolutely lovely. I would love it. Absolutely love it. Anyway, let's move. For, so, um, Denmark beat France 2-0 and they lost to Croatia. 2-1. But that goal Everson scored was world-class. Top corner. Those kind of shots that you've taken top corner, the keeper is never getting to it. As for France, France lost 2-0 to Denmark. Pogba is, not in, is out, so they seem to be struggling. Um, Varane played well, but obviously they didn't do well enough to hold out Denmark. But Varane played well. He didn't get injuries, so that's a good thing. He didn't get any injuries, so he's coming back to United. I think the last internationals are on Wednesday, on Tuesday. Then they go back to the return back to the countries. So let's talk about, who else? Martinez played for Argentina in the 3-1 victory over Honduras. Uh, in my, That was played in Miami, United States. So, yeah, it was a good game. Messi was made, provided free assist. Uh, Argentina on a 31 on 34 unbeaten run at the moment, which is really phenomenal. Can they win the World Cup? We'll wait and see. But my, my focus was on Martinez and he played an absolutely fantastic job as he always does. He needs to do that against City. Let's go to Scotland. Scotland against Ukraine. Scotland beat Ukraine. McTominay, man of the match again. So what has happened to McTominay? What has he had? Has he drank some, some potion? Did um, some fairy sprinkle some gold glitters on him that he's changed? He's really a good player. He's getting better. He's getting more... How would I say? With more pressure under him from Casemiro breathing right behind him, I think that's given him the oomph to play better and fight. So even for Scotland, his his position was never threatened. Let, let's call it as it. So he's done well for Scotland and he played well for Scotland in the victory over Ukraine. So McTominay, great job for Manchester, for Manchester United and Scotland. Let's move over to who else, who else, who else, who else, who else? Casemiro played for Brazil when Brazil played in an international friendly against Ghana. Uh, they beat Ghana by three goals to nil. Um, Fred, I mean, and Anthony were on the on the bench. They came in later in the game, but Casemiro started for Brazil and he did what he's supposed to do. He did a fantastic job. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who have I missed out? Who have I missed out? Bruno scored for Portugal. The low score for Portugal. Ronaldo got an assist for Portugal. And he got battered. He collided and busted his nose for Portugal and his country. So, who else is left? We've done Malaysia. Played for Port, um, Holland when the, Holland actually beat Holland beat who did Holland beat? Did they beat Switzerland? No, it wasn't Switzerland. They beat somebody one 0 to qualify. No, Belgium. They beat Belgium one 0 to qualify for the European Nations final. So yeah, that's good from Malaysia. So the whole United back for one international duty, and they did what? The low scoring, Varane defending, Martinez defending, Malaysia defending. In the midfield, we had Ericsson scoring. Bruno scoring, McTominay defending. Up front, Ronaldo scoring. No, Ronaldo provided the assist. Uh, Anthony came on as a, on a sub. Uh, Sancho didn't get called, and Rafa didn't get called because of injury. Well, so that is how United players have performed this week in the international duty. So they have been kicking ballistics and scoring and doing fantastic jobs. We just did that video on Saturday about United's biggest flop. So check that video out. If you think your biggest flop for United are in that list, let us know. Drop your comments. Thank you very much. A lot of people have been asking, oh, Tim, I thought um, Pogba would be in that list. He's in that list, but it didn't mean he will make the top five. So everyone's top five. We're talking about players who really were really a big one. And I mean rubbish. So that's our flops. So 
in today's international detail, players, United players re- will be reporting back to training for first Wednesday. And we got the big game on Sunday against Manchester City. Harlan scored for Norway. It's going to be tough. I mean, I'm predicting a 2 2 draw. But um, people are saying United can win. I don't know yet. I'm not trying to be pessimistic. I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm trying to be realistic, Dan pessimistic see what I mean so that's it if you're watching our video don't forget to smash a like don't forget to subscribe thank you for supporting us by subscribing to the button by hitting the logo at the bottom right of your screen and you'll be a subscriber and be a member of our community I really appreciate we are on all the social media platforms Instagram YouTube Twitter Tubular Facebook Spotify all right and um oh the news I wanted to bring to you guys' attention. Did you know uh, the the board are saying, and I think they're trying to play into Eric Tan Howe's mind, that Eric Tan, um, the David DeGuerre's contract is expiring next season, or I think it's one year left on his contract. He's the highest paid goalkeeper. I don't know if it's in the world. 375 a week, he's the highest paid goalkeeper. And um, they don't look like they want to renew that contract. They're saying that um, he's not the actual goalkeeper whereby they play the ball from the back. They want a keeper who plays the ball outwards then his distribution is quite poor. Um da da da. He's a good shot stopper, but he's never been a great goalkeeper who dominates his box. So yeah. But uh, we we'll see. But keep it posted on that front. So you know just follow this channel follow us one on Instagram, one on Twitter, one on YouTube, one on Facebook, one on Spotify, one Tubular. So just follow us and we'll keep you posted with the most updated news for United. We'll be having our Man United Man City preview on Saturday and Friday. We'll probably have the ladies, uh, Man City lady and the Man United lady battle it out, the handbags fight and see how that goes. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'm Tim Russell Hulse, Man United players doing well on international duty. <laughs>